how to connect Trello to Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the simple step by step process of connecting your Trello account to Anaten. Anaten is a powerful and flexible workflow automation tool. We will create a secure credential that allows Anaten to access your Trello boards, lists, and cards, setting the foundation for all your future automations. So let's get started. Before we start the video, what you need is a Trello account and an Aten instance. If you don't have an Aten, just go into the description and click on that pin. You will get 15 days free trial of an Aten Cloud. So yeah, let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is open your an Aten and create a workflow. As you can see here, this is my workflow. And from the top right corner, you have to search for Trello node. Click on the Trello. And from here, you will get two things. First is triggered. Second is action. So for this tutorial, I will going to choose uh, action, which will be create a board. So just simply I select that. And from there, you have to click on this create to connect with. Now from there, you have to click on this create new credential. Now we need API key and then we need API token. So what you have to do is open this docs. As you can see here, this is an item docs. You will get all the details related, how you can set up credential by yourself. Now you will get this power up admin portal. Now click on that. And after that, you will find this page where you have to log in with your Trello account. Now, as you can see here, I have signed in with my account. Now, after signing up your account, you will find this dashboard. So just simply click on this new button to create your app. Now, after that, you have to give the name for your app. In our case, we are going to connect. So I am going to add this unattend connection. And then after that, you have to select workspace. So make sure you have created a workspace into your Trello board. Now, after that, you have to enter your email address and then contact email address as well. I will add very similar to that. Then you have to enter the author name. So I will add my name. Now just simply click on this create button. We will set up this required of URL later. So click on the create. Now, after that, you have to generate a new API key from here. Just simply click on it and click on this generate API key. Now, from here, you will find this API key. Just copy this and go back to your Anaten and paste this API key into API key section. Now, paste it. Now, what we need is API token. So for that, you have to go back to your Anaten admin and over here, you have to just simply paste the URL of your Anaten instance. So get back to your Anaten workflow. So I will copy this much of the URL. So I am using the local hosted version of Anaten, as you can see here, local host 5678. So I will paste this URL over here. Now click on this add before that. Let's, let me add. Okay. It has been added. Now click on this token button. Click on it and it will take you to this page where it will ask you some permission. Just simply click on this allow button. And then it you're there. And then you will get your uh, access token. Just copy that access token and paste that access token into API token on here. As you can see, you can check into expiration as well. Now click on the save button after that. Now, as you can see, credential has been successfully created and the connection is tested successfully. Now let's uh, move. This is how you can connect your Trello to your Anaten. After the connection, you can do a lot of things. Once it is connected, uh, you unlock the ability to connect uh, Trello to hundreds of other applications and automate almost any process you can think of. 
For example, you could automate create a Trello cart from a new Gmail in Gmail, a new entry in Google Form or a message in a Slack channel. Or you can say you can create whenever a card is moved to the done list in Trello, you can automatically add a new raw to a Google Sheet or create an invoice in QuickBooks. So yeah, you can do a lot of things. Essentially, you can stop doing the busy work and let your system work for you. So let me just demonstrate a simple execution over here. So from here, let's choose something else. No, it's fine. We will uh, create a board over here called, you can set this name dynamically, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to add my annotant. Flow. After that, you have to add the description of your uh, board. Now then, from here, you, have, you will get additional field as well. Like you have aging, background, and comments, covers, invitation. All the feature you will get in Trello, you will see in Anitel. Now, let's execute this. And as you can see, the workflow has been executed successfully. Let's get back to our Trello board and uh, refresh this Trello and see if our board has been created or not. Now, as you can see, you will get this board, my edit and workflow. You, you can create all of the card as you can see. Let's show you. You can create card as well. Let's just simply create a card over here. Search for Trello and select that action, which will create a card into our Trello. Now, as you can see, you can create cards. You have a, a delete card as well. Then you have a get card. You have an update card. Just simply click on this create card button. Now, from there, you have to add ID over here. So, so I had a made mistake. Uh, so to create a card, what you have to do is enter, uh, sorry, list all the list where you, which you have created into your uh, Anitin workflow board. And then after that, you have to just simply drag that list ID into this list ID section. And from there, you have to enter the name, the description. You have a lot of fields like you can have a label ID, position, URL source, source ID, and you compete, due date as well. Uh, so you have a lot of things to do. And this is how you can create a board and you, this is how you can create a card. So yeah, that's it for today's video. And if you found this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel and thank all.